Hey, Shalom. I want to start off saying, God, Allah, Yimla, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Wachakudash. Which means give our praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Yahushai, which is our Lord and Savior, and to the Holy Spirit. The third must not be about Allah's greatness as Allah, which means give our honors to the elders of Israel, which is the apostles and elders of great men's stone to Israel. Shalom, Allah, 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 which means peace and love to the lack of Israel. Come with you again with another lesson. This is the brother Anai from the Jimmy's Memphis camp. Now, um, let's go be on this uh, article. Um, Lord willing, be edified. This uh, article come from RT News, RT.com. It said, 2020, not giving up on this destructive pattern. Swarms of winged insects invaded invade Siberian city, leaving Russians stunned. And it was published September the fourth, um, September fourteenth, tw- uh, year twenty twenty, year prophecy. It's a uh, a tr- truly ap- apocalyptic uh, vista has emerged from the western city of Kras, New York. I'm saying that right. After a massive horde of winged insects invaded its, its streets, forming a uh, gargantuan. Uh, clouds in the air and swarming on the um, pavement. It said multiple videos of the insect inv- invasion started making the rounds online on Monday, promptly become a viral topic in Russia. The bug builder began in the city over the weekend, becoming particularly intense on Monday morning. So some instances got up close and personal with uh, residents strolling over the hemis and getting entangled in their hair. You know, so the Lord the plague, you know. Yeah, you know, It's a uh, uh, so what this is. That's the video. It said, imagine available online suggests that the city had been invaded by birch effies, commonly known as green fr- green flies. The insect population had apparently exploded due to an unusually warm season. While the insects are homeless for humans, they might pose a danger to vegetation, uh, especially for the birch trees which they prefer to stack on. Apart from the green flies, the city had been also invaded by ladybugs, you know, beetles, you know. So, hey, the Lord is plaguing this place, man. Plaguing, um, plaguing, you know. The Lord is sending plagues, man, you know. And it's beautiful, man. These are signs, you know. Year 2020, year prophecy, man, you know. And more plagues, more pestilence is going to come, man. This Exodus 8 and 16, and the Lord said unto Moses, Say unto Aaron, Stretch out thy rod and smite the dust of the land, that it may become lice throughout all the land of Egypt. Going to the word lice. It's a uh, nets, you know, nets. A small two-winged fly that resembles a mosquito, you know, a net, you know. So a net, you know. You say uh, right here, you say, Torn Torn not giving up on this destructive pattern, swarms of winged insects, you know. So right, 17, yes, it is 8 and 17. And they did so for Aaron stretched out his hand with his rod and smote the dust of the eat. It's like it smote the dust of the earth and it became lice and man and a beast. All the dust of the land because became lice throughout all the land of Egypt, you know. So the Lord is plaguing this place, man. You know. Oh, the second edge is 15. Let's grab that real quick. Second edge 15. You can start at one. 
Bone gets straight to the point. Second Ezra 15 and uh, 5. Behold, said the Lord, Yahweh, to my shot. I will bring plagues upon the world that swore famine, death, and destruction. You know? For wickedness had exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hopeful works of fulfilled. Therefore, said the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more, touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and the righteous blood cried out to me, and the souls of the just complained continually. And therefore said the Lord, I will surely avenge them, and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. You know, so the Lord about to bring more plagues, you know, this war, famine, death, and destruction. You know, and this is prophecy, man. Let's get you on my 28 and 8. It said, <clears throat> and the prophets that had been before me and before the of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. So more or there's uh, more destruction, more on um, pestilence, you know, evil, bad time is going to come, you know, throughout the whole world, man. Not just America, Babylon and great, you know. But hey, World War Three is now. It said the third war come quickly in the book of Revelation 11, 14, man. You know, so right. Let's um close on this. So right, thirty six. I'm gonna start at one. Have much upon us, O Lord, Yahweh, so much shy power over all, and behold us, and send thy fear upon all the nations that seek not after thee. Lift up thy hand against the strange nations, and let them see thy power. As that was sanctified in us before them, so be that magnified among them before us. And that's what we praying. You know. We asking the Lord to uh, show new signs, you know, to show new days, man, you know, to bring destruction to this place, man, you know. It said, and let them know, because don't nobody feel you how about some shot, man, you know, don't nobody feel, you know. It said, five, and let them know thee as we have known thee, that there is no God but only thou, oh, yeah, how about some shot, right, because it's only one God. There's only one power, and it's your how about Shema Shah, man? The power of Israel. It says, show new signs to make other strange wonders. Glorify thy hand and thy right arm, that they may set forth thy wonders and ropes. And right, that's what we're asking the Lord, man. To bring your kingdom, you know, so we can glorify. Your how about Shema Shah, man? You know? It said, rise up in the nation and pour out wrath, take away the adversary, and destroy the enemy. That's what we ask, and that's what we pray, and destroy the, uh, our enemies. Destroy the heathens. The Psalms are the third chapter, man. Destroy all our enemies, man. Put every last one of them in subjections. You know? Destroy Esau, Edom, the wicked. You know? Moab, Ammon, you know? The Africans, so-called Africans, Arabs, you know? Destroy all the heathens, man. You know, it says, Sake the time, so remember the covenant and let them declare their wonderful works. And that's what we asking the Lord, man, to make, continue making the time short, continue speeding up the time, continue showing the days. Remember the covenant of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You know, it said, Let him that escape it be consumed by the rage of the fire and let them perish that oppress the people, smiting some the heads of the rulers of the heathens. They say, There's no other but we, and that's Esau, man. You know, Gather all the tribes of Jacob together and inherit that them is from the beginning, right? Because that's who their salvation is for. That's who the Lord dealing with. Jacob, man. The 12 tribes. From um, Judah all the way down to Issachar. You so-called blacks, Spanish, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man. But it start with the elect. You know, that's their remnant. The elect, man. Because the elect going to repent. It said, O oh Lord, Yahweh, my shall have most upon the people that is called by thy name and upon Israel, whom thou hast named thy firstborn. You know? Uh, 13. O oh, be must fall to Jerusalem, thy holy city, the place of thy rest. Fill Zion with thy unspeakable oracles and thy people with thy glory. Give testimony unto those that thou hast possessed from the beginning. And, rise, and raise up prophets. That have been in thy name, reward them that wait for thee, and let thy prophets be found faithful, you know? And Lord willing, we are the prophets coming back, you know? Lord willing, man. It said, it said uh, the spirit of the prophets is subject to the prophets, man. But it said, reward them that wait for thee. So all we got to do is wait. Continue waiting. It said, bless are all those that wait for thee, man. Warn to you that have lost patience, man. So we got to continue waiting, man. 
and continue prophesying the downfall of this place. Continue prophesying that famine is going to come. Evil is going to come. World War III is going to come. You know? Jack of Trouble is going to come. You know? But it said, let the prophets be found faithful, man. All right. Let me close on Ezekiel. Because in the book of Habakkuk, it said, um, they will tear away for it, you know? And the enemy should speak it not a lie. But this is Ezekiel 33 and 33. And when this is coming to pass, and Lord, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet had been among them. And the Lord will, I hope you were edified once again. For to give our praises, our honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, which may give our praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. You know? And double honor to the apostles and elders of great ministers on Tisha and peace and love to the elect of Israel. With that, Shalom, Karnashallah, Wa Abba Ba.